Good morning from Panhandle Outdoors, America's only daily outdoor TV show. Your source for fishing, hunting, and information for folks who enjoy the great outdoors. Now sit back, relax. It's Panhandle Outdoors. All right, folks, here we are Friday. But after lunch, we had an upper landing at Howard Creek because the lower landing flooded. <laughs> what about it, Bill? Hey, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, no way to launch down there now. So here at the upper landing, just figuring out how to get you in the boat and then head to the house. Yeah, so that's important. So we're going to put in an upper landing, going to head on down there, and I'll shoot some video on the way, but uh, we're about, we about ready to go. There'll be no fire tonight. <laughs> <laughs> See the walkway? See the what? The walkway? Yep. That's on top of that dock that they built. All right, here we are. We're ready for our first bush hook. Of course, it's a tree limb hook, but we're going to... Yeah, I told Bill, he's high tech. I'm not used to this high tech stuff. Bill, I'm not either. <laughs> Where did Bill get those from? Bill, now he's made, these are handmade. Okay. Um, uh, they used to be bigger and he's fluorescent painted them. Uh -huh. Okay. But now this is the, I don't want to say ingenious part, but. Don't give him too much credit. Folks, we're in Beerman Slough. A lot of y'all recognize it. That's right here where it forks, and that's a high point. That's where Bill and his family camps over there, but it's all underwater today. We're about at 17 foot, and this is what it is at 17 foot. All right. I'm trying to hold this current. A nice, strong current. All right. Since we're not, Dragging catfish line because we don't have our young sons with us. <laughs> uh, said not to worry about the depth. Okay. That they would be. Uh, they're already. He's just did them at different lengths. So, a nice flexible, non-dead. What kind of bait we using, Bill? Well, this is that wildcat blood bait. Uh huh. And that was a little dried up. Uh oh. Smells wonderful. I like to have a little of the hook showing. And there it is. That's our first, first bush hook we set out. This one, I don't have time to get anything. It's called Wildcat Blood. Uh -huh. uh, and it, catfish is the only thing in the world that I like it. Yep. All right. Chief, now you want to talk about current? That's strong current right there. This, is, so this gonna water be, is coming out of here. Yeah, it's coming out fast. It's going to be shallow. He swears it won't come out. This center. Line number five. Get on in the evening. Got a little bit of daylight left. Go on the swift. All right. All right, this is number 10 right here, folks. Oh, I always tell when the river dropping, just look here at the watermarks. There's always a telltale sign. The river dropping out. Be number 15. 
Uh, number 18 here. Number 18. Number 20, that's Bill's campsite. You can see the cleaning table, Bill. I don't think we'll be able to get to it on this trip. No, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a waste high. That's a waste high, huh? Yeah. That's where the boys clean the squirrel. Uh huh. I don't clean that bit anymore. <laughs> that's our first snake right there. Try to get a bit closer. Heck no! Alright, oh, that'd be some slow motion in there. Maybe not? Yeah. I was doing it. Okay, we got him. Alright, get a little bit closer now. He's moving. Look at that, Winston. Look at those holes in the tree. How did he not? I don't know. All right, it's number 25, the last one, the one we've been looking for. Yeah, yeah. We should have done it first. <laughs> All right. This is right at the fork in Beerman, so a lot of y'all know where we are. Beerman Slough. And the sun's gone down, so we we barely got it done right. All right. Hey, bump that up. Do what? You got it? Yeah. Alright, this is inside of the houseboat. But we're taking care of business. Just got back. And we stopped by Real Time Fishery. And look here, folks. <laughs> Bill, oh, look here. All right, we got we got some deal. This is research. This yeah, is yeah. product knowledge. We promised Josh, we promised Josh that we would sample. Uh, there, right here, is a smoked tuna. This is the tuna. Tuna, smoked tuna, right here, folks. Outstanding. Okay. And right here is crab. The crab. <clears throat> Salmon. Right here, and then king. King. Okay. These are all look. We've sampled. <laughs> which one do you which one do you like the best? I don't know. It's hard to tell. That, that salmon dip is really, really good, but the tuna yeah. dip I, I mean it's all good. Well I know at first I, I thought a lot of tuna right here and then I ate the crab and I I take one, two, I got them in order <laughs> just like that. That's folks, that's good stuff. That's really, really good. Real time fishery. We got and we got our uh Gail made us some uh Brunswick stew back here. And I don't know, we got to warm it up, but Bill, we might make a meal off that dip over there, buddy. <laughs> All right. Bill Seal still hasn't made it down. He doesn't hurry up and get here. He's not going to have <laughs> All right. They got me too dark to get them. What's up, guys? Well, hey, buddy. <laughs> well, if you didn't find the other one, you know, uh, you know, you don't leave one at a time. Well, Bill Shields is here. Bill Shields is here. Right at dark. Right at dark. About when I thought I'd get here. <laughs> uh, pull me all the way forward up there. Bill, what, what kind of, what do you got right there, buddy? This is some homemade catfish soap. It's got uh, menhaden oil in it. So you, how in the world you get this? I made it. You made this? I made this. In the house. <laughs> well, that was very proud. <laughs> it looks like a, it looks like cheese. We need, we need some crackers. You want to go no, sniff? Gonna, <laughs> I, 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 Bill, 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 Bill. <laughs> you can, you can, you can try this along with some of that dip we had in there. You can no, compare I, and contrast. I, I, I'll take the dip. You try the cheese. Got a pile of cheese. <laughs> yes, hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> oh, there's. We're getting ready, folks, to go check, make our first check of the night, and we're also going to put out a. We got a trot line, don't you? Yeah. Got a couple of trot lines we're going to set. Try to get back up in some of the log drags, kind of back in the woods a little ways, and uh, 
see if we can fool one end of biting the hook. Well, I'm going to move to the inside. Life on a houseboat. Yep. Be sure and watch for snakes now, Bill. <laughs> yeah. Watch out. Look how bait. Alright. That, that water's really moving right there. I didn't know how many. Open that one. It ain't got a zip lock top on it. We'll have to do something else with it. I got a bag. I got a knife right here. All right, folks, here we are. First one, we got, we got some movement right here. Catching fish. Got something going on. Jump kick. Oh, yeah. All right, Bill. I'm... All right. What? <laughs> You're what? <laughs> no, I'm, just, I'm trying to operate the boat. I know. I can. Uh, I think. Got we, him? Yeah, I got him. Yeah, I think we're okay. Oh yeah. Hold him up there. First strike of the night. Good job, Bill. You got. The... Hey, look at that hook. Just did perfectly in the lip. Nice channel cat. Have you got any pliers in here? Yeah. All right. First one in the box. We are not. We ain't got a full block yet. Absolutely. All right, folks. We uh, our next step is uh, we're on to the prop line. Bill held it up right there. We're unraveling it here. So we're gonna put it across this little slough. Bill Adams up there running the trolling motor. And Bill Shield. <laughs> and Bill Shield back here, the trot line man. All right. See, we got all the how many hooks do you think's on here, Bill? Uh. 25. Over oh, 25 weeks? <laughs> yeah. We're not at number 25. Well, that's all you can have. Okay. That's right. Uh, that, that's a law now. Yep. That's right. Oh, I know there's 25. Yep. No. What are you doing? Bill, you okay out there? It's <laughs> stuck. What's wrong? Stuck on what? Are you. Do you, don't you have the same trolling motor? Yeah, I got this. All right, we're baiting up the trot line. Look at that cheese soap. <laughs> <laughs> you bound and determine this is going to be cheese, aren't you? <laughs> Put it on a cracker. See yeah. how it works for you. <laughs> All right, Bill, you just untangle this. I can get there. Yeah, I'm noticing. I got it. Well, this is a textbook right here. Uh, right here, we've got to tie it off on this side over here. Bill Allen pulling this through. Bill Shields baiting it. I'm coaching him along. <laughs> <laughs> we need coach. Somebody got to be a coach. Everybody can't play. Somebody's got, somebody got to be in an administrator position. Though. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, well, all right. Here we are, folks. We didn't. Uh, we didn't get up for the second trip last night about midnight. I tried to get them up, but they. they can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. You were shaking the bed trying to get me up. <laughs> That's yeah, how I was, remember it. Uh, all right, look. Uh, it's early. Uh, it was a beautiful morning on the river. So what's our game plan? There ain't much of a plan. <laughs> well, the one good thing is we did rebait everything last night on the last trip, so we got, and the water fall fell pretty hard, yeah. so um, we'll see if we got any catfish or half catfish hanging on the line this morning. Bill, you brought up a good point. Last night I went out and looked at the water, and actually, tell us what the water was doing last night. Oh, it was it was rising. It was it was coming up big time last night. Okay, to get this in mind, folks, the river's dropping, but the water's rising. To explain that, Bill. Yeah, I, I that it's one of those I don't un, I don't understand it. When you see how hard this river is running right now, how can the tide come in? I just don't yeah. understand it. That's so, just one of the things I don't understand. But we actually watched it last night. We actually see it going down river now, but we actually saw some going up river last night. The river's dropping out. Yeah. All right.
Let's go get him. All right. Wow, right, we checking them out, and uh, we got to we got to wrap up some empty ones, but what we got up here, guys? We got one. We got a tree shaker. I hope that's it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh oh, it looks like it. Don't big say it out loud. <laughs> big mud fish. We'll see. I'm saying catfish. Oh, yeah, it's wiggling. Look at that. All right. Oh, yeah. All right, let's see how we're going to do I'm going to pull it up on that side. Of okay. That. Oh, yeah. He had that whole wheel shaking there a minute ago. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's what we're looking for. Alright, ease up, man. Just take your take your line off of there. Oh, okay, I got you. Better? Catfish right there. It's clutch, you'll need clutch. No. That's about that's about as big as I should. Alright. That's what we came for. That's what we came for, Bill. That's what we came for right there. <laughs> need a lot more of them, but <laughs> Catch fishing. All right. I hope. <laughs> All right, we got one moving it's again. Like a surprise package every time. <laughs> hey, Bill, it's like Christmas time, isn't it? <laughs> you, know? you don't know what you're going to get. <laughs> you're hoping it ain't a pair of socks. <laughs> Shake that tree, baby. <laughs> Pull it down. Now, last night we put this green flag. This is the last mark. This is our last one. That's marked for our last one on this side. How big? I can't see nothing. Oh, anyway, let's see what the Santa brought us. Oh, yeah, another nice one. Put him on camera. They all about the same size, aren't they? Well, I'm a little smaller. smaller. Exactly. But it's a catfish. Don't let him. Don't let him yeah, finish. Don't let him get me. Come I on, got buddy. Pick. Come on, come on. Yeah. Go ahead and take it. Well, I'm holding. I'm holding both of these. <laughs> I got it. Nice chin. Which way you Yeah. This ah, here's our trot line. Making it up as we go. Well, it don't look good. Huh? All right, folks, right next to our trot line, we we may have found out the culprit. I think Mr. Raccoon, Mr. Raccoon, or somebody got a hold of that. Well then, then the raccoon uh, checked our line. Wow, <laughs> right, they got their house decorated with the potted plants out here. <laughs> yeah. what call ferns, ferns. Ferns out here. <laughs> what, what does that note say? It must have been a tax collector. <laughs> Eviction notice. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, folks, we're back at the camp on a, on a Saturday morning. We're taking care of business. Bill Shield got our coffee made. I'm on wait. No, Bill Allen made the coffee. Right, yeah, Bill? He ain't much on coffee. Now, now Bill Shields. Frying catfish sausage. <laughs> <laughs> and that's about what we got. <laughs> and I love that stove. We're going to tell the houseboat story later on to get Bill to just sit down and tell the whole story. But that stove, you know, tell him how old that is. It's an old one. But uh, we've worked hard to get those three catfish. <laughs> <laughs> so we got, we're going to eat a big breakfast. Uh oh. There you go, two nice fillets. The thing about being on the river, that's the, easy disposal. Easy disposal. That's right. Bill, I, I, how many how many fish you think been clean been clean on this old cleaning table over the years? Weston, you. Uh, Wow, there. <laughs> this this houseboat's been here since the fifties, or late forties, early fifties. I don't think you could. You'd have to if you were gonna number them. You'd have to number them in the, by the pounds, <laughs> <laughs> not by the number of fish. Yeah. That's a nice catfish right yeah. there. Mm -hmm. I well, looked out here yesterday, that was all on the water, so you can tell how much it's dropping. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's... Flippage. Thanks for watching America's only daily outdoor TV show, Panhandle Outdoors with Winston Chester, featuring hunting, fishing, and other activities and information to help you enjoy the great outdoors. Join us next time for Panhandle Outdoors.